Many clients who contact me to paint a portrait for them have never commissioned a portrait before. So I've created this brief video to help explain a little bit about the process you can expect. In this slideshow, I'll give you an example of having a young child as my subject. But before the actual photo sitting occurs, you and I will have had a lot of opportunity to discuss in advance things that are important, like the mood, the setting, clothing, how much formality you'd like in the painting, etc. Each portrait that I paint, though, actually represents a shared vision between you and me. So the more information you can give me up front, the better I can tailor the entire process to reflect that vision. Because nearly all of my commissions are out of state, I always assume that weather will be an issue. So I bring an entire photo studio with me, all packed into one suitcase. When I meet the family, sometimes the child might be very shy, so I want to give her the chance to become comfortable with me. But sometimes she'll just grab my hand and say, come into my room, I want you to see all of my dresses. And then away we go. We leave the parents at the doorway with a wink and a smile. It usually takes me about 20 minutes or so to select a location within your home to set up my photo studio. You would be surprised at how simple it is for me to create a makeshift studio pretty much wherever I go. Now sometimes clothing is something we know in advance. For example, the child might be wearing a garment that's handmade, perhaps an heirloom dress, something that's special to the parent or grandparent. And then sometimes we'll just go into the closet and start looking. It's best to plan on a few hours, maybe half a day or so, for taking and reviewing my reference photos for a one subject portrait. For a multiple or group portrait, of course, the process would take longer since it's very rare to have everyone looking their best in any given frame. During the photo review, I'll sort through the pictures to weed out those that just aren't suitable as painting reference material. Now, I'm, I'm going to be looking for things like expression, light and shadow patterns, and composition, but I rely on you to help me understand which photos might best represent the way that you think about your child. Now, sometimes the painting might need to fit into a particular place. It might need to be compatible with, say, an antique frame, or it might require either a vertical or a horizontal orientation. Once we've identified the photo or photos that I'll be using as reference, then I'll be able to size the portrait and we can firm up the exact composition. And at that point, I'll be able to estimate a time frame for you to review and receive your portrait. You can rest assured that regardless of the person I'm going to paint, you'll get my very best from start to finish. My goal is that every day when you see my finished painting on your wall, you'll think, I'm so glad we had Chris do this. I really love children. I'm a mom. And there is nothing better than getting a spontaneous hug from my little subject when I leave the house, or sometimes just getting a priceless little note like this. Commission portraits are all about communication, and I want you to feel comfortable to call me or email me with any questions you might have about the process. I look forward to working with you.